Your 48 certificate private key is crucial if you need to copy that certificate to another Fortinet product in your organization. How do you do it? Coming up. Whenever you need to generate a certificate for your FortiGate for any reason, either SSL VPN or to authenticate an administrator with a two-factor authentication, you will need to generate a CSR, a Certificate Signing Request. Now, once you do so, your FortiGate actually generates two keys. The first one is the private key, which should be held secretly on your 48, this key will be used to decrypt and encrypt sessions from different users that are connected to your 48. The second key is the public key. That public key is actually embedded along with the certificate itself and clients will use it to uh, connect securely to the 48 itself. Now, how do you generate a CSR? So you head over to your system, certificates, generate, name your certificates, let's name it test cert, enter your IP, I will use my private IP, but you will use your public IP or your FQDN, organization unit, organization name itself, let's just name it 40 tip. Uh, locality, city, I will use Tel Aviv, country, region, let's use Israel, email, I will use 48guru at gmail.com. Now, this one is mandatory. You should choose a password to create uh, the private key using the RSA algorithm. Now, don't be tempted to use the 4096 bit. It is more secure, but it does influence performance. So the default setting is RSA 2048 bit. Let's just create our password and use file-based enrollment. Now, once you do so, you will see your certificate in the certificate page. It is in a pending mode up until your certificate will uh, be issued by a CA. You should download this CSR file, attach it to your CA as part of the CSR itself. Once you get the certificate, download it to your computer, import it, and now you will see it as part of the certificates in the certificates page. But if you need to import that certificate, to another Fortinet device, you will need two things. You will need the private key and the certificate itself. You can do so by using the command line, config VPN certificate local. Now edit the name of the certificate that you have just received and use the show full, sorry for that. Use the show full config. Once you do so, you will see the private key which you will need to copy let's just you will need to copy the private key paste it on another file name it private.pem and grab the certificate itself paste it and name it certificate.pm those two files are needed to import your certificate to another Fortinet device.